Romance! Yay! I am your humble snub mugger, Jefferson. Show. Um, for those of you who don't know what you've gotten yourself into, let me do some explaining. Uh, this show, Bear, True Stories of Sex, Desire, and Romance, is a little thing that we've been doing for three years now. Um, it kind of grew out of things like The Moth and other storytelling shows. This show is focused on those three things, sex, desire, romance, which is about the subject of every pop song ever written, right? Everything's in there. And so what I do is I go to all the storytelling shows in town and I find the best storytellers I can find, and I ask them, well, do you have stories about sex, desire, and romance? And they say, yeah, and I book them for this show. It's a lot of fun for me, but I do a lot of work. You don't have to, you just come to one show, you get all the sex, desire, and romance you need. Um, this show took off here three years ago. I took off, and I started doing the show in Boston, DC, and Philadelphia. And so these days, my life is largely about going up and down the East Coast, listening to people tell dirty stories. Nice. <laughs> nice work if you can get it. You can't, I already have it. <laughs> now, in this show, I've got a lot of storytellers that I know are good, and we always have a portion where someone from the audience will get up and tell a story. That person could be good, I don't know what that story is going to be, and that's why it's like my favorite part of the whole show, because it's, it's a treat for me to hear a new story. That person could be you. Or it could be someone there, but it's like you. I told you I'm gonna pick on you tonight. Um, anybody from the audience can, can tell a story. Here's what I'd like to know about your story. It should have something to do with sex, desire, and romance, right? That's what the show is about. Um, I would like for your story to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. All good stories do. Not all stories do, but the good ones do. Start somewhere, don't tell us your whole life story. Start somewhere, take us on a journey, and conclude your story. So let's say you're into spanking. Don't tell us how you got into spanking for the, the whole, for every time you ever got spanked. Tell us a spanking story. Clear? <laughs> I know one thing about your story, never having heard it. It's over in seven minutes. How can I be so <laughs> sure? At six minutes, I'll do this. In the worlds of storytelling and comedy, this is called lighting. So I'm lighting you. And when you see me do this, and I'm sitting right there, I'm not saying shut the fuck up. I'm saying start shutting the fuck up. Because when I do this, it's seven minutes, and you need to leave the stage. You've got to go. you got to go. Because if you don't go, I have to bodily take you from the stage. Now, I, I, we can do that. I can bodily take you down from the stage. But... Um, we should you know, negotiate that, there should be consent involved. Okay. So if you want me to take your body down from the stage, that's a whole other issue, but if you think you want to tell a story, and you know all, of the, all the rules now, all you have to do next is slip yourself into my bare pussy. This is my bare pussy. Isn't it cute? You get it? Because the show's called Bear, and it's a pussy cat. Get it? It's hilarious. Uh, what you're gonna do is go back to that table over there. You'll find cocktail napkins and a pen. And you write yourself your name down on a cocktail napkin like it's 1972 and you're trying to pick me up. Thank you, Hefe, for demonstrating what a cocktail napkin is. Um, you write your name on the cocktail napkin uh, like you're trying to pick me up. Uh, you can put your phone number on it if you want to. You don't have to worry, I won't call you. Yeah, I'll, I'll call you. I'm, I'm, I'm incorrigible. I'm the easiest lay in New York City. You don't believe it? Talk to everybody else in the room. <laughs> you probably already have a little pink ticket, don't you? Do you? I'm going to get you one. Uh, most of you do. We'll make sure everybody gets one. Because tonight, we are giving away, as we always do, a sex toy. <gasps> Included? We, we don't have to give away a sex toy, people. We want to. You've got to want it, though. Uh, hang on to those tickets, because that's how I'm going to give it away later on the show. We're going to do a raffle. I would like to show you uh, now what you could be walking away with tonight. Ooh. Just what I wanted. It's already wrapped, so if you're looking for that special something for Mom for the holidays, <laughs> this could be it. Uh, it is... 
A, let me see if I've got it open here. Oh, wait, wait, yes, thank you. <laughs> this, thank you for appreciating it. <laughs> this is a BDSM paddle. It's made of metal and it's stained beautifully. It is handcrafted for you to take home by our own Ben Jammin right there. He made this for you. This is the good stuff. Uh, later when we give it away, if you don't know how to use it, we can show you. Just let us know. Uh, this is the, I use this at my own home, you know, that I, I can verify this is a good spanking instrument. What? You own, not that one, but you own one. No, this is a virgin one. Yes. This is untouched by human yeah. torsos. Yes. <laughs> Made by your own two hands. Yes. Okay. I have told you about the bear pussy. I've shown you the paddle. I got applause for just saying my name, Jefferson. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I'd say I'm humble, but humility is not come easy to me. Um, we have a great show lined up tonight. I've got some great storytellers lined up, as I said. Uh, this is a show that, of storytelling, and we're really strict about that. It's always storytelling, except that we always start with music. Because why? Because I like music. Don't you love music? I think, I see we have a music fan right back there. I think uh, you're gonna like the first musician because we've had her on the show before and you love her. She's back now. It's Jessica Delfino. Woo!